is no doubt that in the automobile industry, these are the best and worst of times for you, the consumer. Best because vehicles today are so well built, great reliability and safety. So what could be bad? Well, there are just so many models to choose from. Long are the days when it was a simple pick of coupe, sedan, wagon or pickup. Today, well, yes, once again, it can be overwhelming. Well, car makers also have the challenge of trying to get your attention in this crowded market. And one car company that has done that extremely well is Kia. They grabbed designer Peter Schreier from Audi back in 2006. His first creation out of the gate was the Soul, and ever since, Kia has been on a roll in every category and winning quality awards along the way. But it was back in 2017 when German car makers might have got just a bit nervous when Kia got serious about performance with the new Stinger. It was motoring TV's car of the year, and it was a sports sedan that could climb a ski mountain. And let's not forget the Forte GT. Well, there's a new kid in the Kia showroom, and we're now gonna join Zach Spencer to tell you more about that and also why this week's episode is just a little special. Well, today is a very special show because we have three guest reviewers. The show is all about cars and the people who drive them, so we asked you to send in your audition tapes. Say hello to Kelly, Sebastian, and Kyle, the first three Canadians to test drive this all-new Kia K5 GT. It certainly has a lot of good looks, it's loaded with features, and it has a lot of power. So let's get at it. The Kia K5 GT is an all-new car replacing the Kia Optima. The GT is sold with just one trim, fully loaded with all the latest features and one powerful engine. With a large turbocharged 2.5-liter four-cylinder, this new K5 GT has 290 horsepower and 311 pound-feet of torque. The power goes to the front wheels through an eight-speed dual-clutch transmission, so this is one quick machine. The outside has full LED lights front and back, including fog lights, also dual exhaust tips and 19-inch alloy wheels. Inside is fully loaded and the only K5 with bucket seats. The rear seats are heated and the GT comes standard with a 10.25-inch multimedia display audio system with standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The K5 GT is sold with just one trim. All you need to do is choose your color and away you go for $39,995. So that's the car. Now, let's get at it. Ever since I was a little girl, I don't know what it was, but when I'd walk to school, I'd look at the cars, I would know the makes, the models. As I grew older, it became a passion and loved the car industry. I took my degree through Georgian, and in that, there were co-ops, and I loved that. So I was able to actually work in the industry. Hello everybody and welcome to Motoring 88. I've been watching Motoring since I was just a kid. I have two young kids, so I have left the, the automotive business for a little bit. And so I haven't driven a sedan in years. I haven't driven a Kia. So I'm really excited about getting in and seeing how different it is compared to my typical SUV that I have been driving for the last five years. So when you found out you were gonna get a chance to drive this K5 GT, what was your sort of impression of what a Kia was versus now that you're in it? What do you think? The steering wheel feels very similar to my Q5. It feels sporty, but luxurious, I would say. It, do you feel, does it feel premium? Well, coming from what I'm driving now to this, it does, yeah, it doesn't feel any... Uh, it's not it, a step down. No, it does not feel that way at all. Having two young kids, putting them in and out of the car, that can be a struggle. So having the car a little bit higher up, it's a little bit easier. I don't know if I've ever really tried putting them in and out of a sedan. They are uh, nine and seven years old. When they were in their infant stages, having them higher up was really important to me. Now, I don't know, we'll see when I get them in the car. I currently work with my husband and our family business in the home building industry. It's called Barry Trim and Moldings. So it's a complete change to the car business. So we supply and install interior finishes for homes. And so this car is just a hair under $40,000. What do you think? That's, that's good value for all of the features in this car? From the looks of it, it seems like it has everything and more than even what I have now. So you've got things like heated steering wheel, heated seats, of course, living in Canada, heated seats in the back. Also, you've got cooled seats, not today, because it's kind of chilly, and a wireless charging pad. Your phone is charging right now. 
I'm excited because I'm very particular on where I put, you know, my things, my sunglasses, my phone, um, how I get myself set up to drive. And I'm in my car a lot. I'm taking my kids to school, to activities, to work, all over the place. So I would consider myself very busy. And my car is almost my second home. I have things everywhere. I also golf with my girlfriend, so I'm putting my golf clubs in. So there needs to be space and functionality, but I also, I really like the design of vehicles, so it needs to appeal to me. So that's going to be important as well. You like it? Yeah. So your Audi has a two liter turbo four cylinder. Yeah. This midsize sedan has a two and a half liter turbo four cylinder. And it runs on regular gas, which is a nice thing. And it has 290 horsepower, which is roughly 40 horsepower more than your car, but it has loads more torque, 311 pound-feet of torque. Come on, let's go, Kelly. Just mash it. Wow. <laughs> That's fun, right? <laughs> it's fun. That's nice about being in the country. I want to do that, but I don't do that all the time. No, it's just for testing purposes only. I first thought on the design, it, it was it's really nice. I mean, it did show up in my favorite color, white, which I love. But my first look at the car, it was clean. It was It's uh, nice lines. So it, my first impression was that it was really nice. So what's the difference between this car and your car? Okay, so... Again, I would think it's a little thing, but it does make a big difference. The, the map holders in the back, they're not mesh. So in my car, they're mesh. So things get, you put something in it, it falls through. So just having those pockets hidden makes a difference. When you vacuum it out four years yeah, from now, you find an old French fry. See, that's <laughs> that is gross. So Kelly, your final thoughts on the K5 GT. What do you think about the inside? I feel everything was very intuitive where I have to put all my things. It was very easy to, navigate, especially being in the car for the first time, I felt it was very easy. And I love that. That was actually one of the, the nicest things I liked about it. And what about handling? I mean, you're used to driving utility, so you get back into a sedan after probably quite a few years. It's, it's a bit refreshing to feel the road more, right? It was, it was. And I thought the ride would have been a little bit rougher, but I found it quiet inside and very smooth. And I did feel I was a bit lower to the ground, but it was, it was really nice. It was sporty, but also calm. <laughs> drive the way that I like it. So it was good. He loves the Kia brand and, and the K5 is really exciting for him. The fact that it's, it's coming out and he's able to be one of the first ones to drive it is fantastic. So it's all I've been hearing about. So I bought a Kia Optima back in 2016. That was my first Kia. And I was looking for something that speaks to me in design wise. So it says K5 on it because I wanted to add the element of the intrigue. Because K5 is actually the branding of Kia Optima back in Korea. Okay, this is actually the first time I found out this is a GT. Is it a GT line or is it a GT? Okay, that's awesome. That's, yeah, that's, that, I'm super excited about that, that's for sure, because I already had my eye on a K5 as soon as I found out the new one's coming out, uh, like a few months ago. All right, let's get to the meat and potatoes. How do you like the power on this compared to your car? Well, let's, let's just say I can't do a burnout in mine and I just did one here, so. <laughs> <laughs> so there's definitely more power. That's, there's no question about that. And the sound. It sounds great, and that stock exhaust. Like, I've changed exhaust on mine, and it still doesn't sound nearly as good as this. So he's always been into cars, as long as I've known him, and even before. The whole purpose of him going to, to London uh, from Poland was to save up some money um, and end up souping up his uh, Citroën back in Poland. And that never happened because we ended up meeting and he lived in London for a while after that and then here. But he's, he's always been a car guy. What about the looks of this thing? I think with the white and the black and the front and the way it looks, it kind of goes with your Stormtrooper oh, look. It absolutely goes with the Stormtrooper look. I, I wouldn't, if, well, okay, I'm definitely getting this car. I don't know when yet, it's just a matter of when, it's not if. Even the Kia slogan, like the power to surprise, you know, it says everything, because it really does. 
Well, I have my own business at Samsung Countertops, so I do custom kitchens, bathrooms, anything to do with uh, with stone. It became my passion. At first, that was it was my job. Now, now it's it's my passion. They didn't have a chance to play with the infotainment system yet, but uh, it's it's great. It's huge display. It's 12 point something. What do you think about when you put, when you put it in sport and the instrument cluster changes? That's cool. That is one of my favorite things so far. We were just saying how cool that is. I always let him drive because he's a big fan of driving. Mm -hmm. I love driving too, but he's it's his thing. So I let him have it. He can be my chauffeur. <laughs> Space is definitely not an issue in this car. I don't think there's any issue with this car. No. <laughs> it picks up, Comfort. it's fast, it's comfortable. Yeah, it's super comfortable. This is like, feels like a nice hug. <laughs> the car is hugging me. It's exciting. We've never been part of something like this. So we feel kind of honored to be asked to participate and we really appreciate it. And it's, it's a fun thing for us to do and something to, to look back on. What do you think of this strategy of an all-in-one pricing for just under $40,000? It comes with everything in the kitchen sink. That's not a bad way to go, is it? No, it's a great way to go. You're all about the performance for you. Um, I also, as a father and a husband, I need to think about the family. And there's plenty, plenty of room for, for a little Dominic and uh, plenty of comfort for wife. Yeah. So I think this car definitely combines all of it. It's, it's just a great car, you know. You got the room, you got the speed, you got the performance, you've got the luxury. Uh, what else, well, what more could you ask for? It was awesome. I wasn't expecting that car to go that fast, so that was a, a nice surprise. And it was really spacious and, and gorgeous inside, which I kind of did expect, and, uh, and we had a blast. That is, that is awesome. This is Kyle. Kyle, what do you think of that? You know what, it's a, it's a sharp looking vehicle. I haven't really seen uh, it in person up close like this, but seeing it here, yeah, I like the character of uh, the lines and it looks good. So they call those daytime running lights heartbeat. What do you okay. think of that? All right. Uh, you know, I like how they come up amber. It gives the car a little bit of a distinct character. The light signature looks, you know what it is when it's coming down the road for sure. So the fly line, down the back kind of looks like a, a sport back, right? Yeah. You know, I, I really kind of wish it was, but I do like the profile. It has that kind of the A7 Stinger kind of look to it, like you said, and yeah, it gives it a, a really aggressive kind of profile. I think it's very distinctive. You know, a lot of cars in this class could kind of be a little bit samey, but this one definitely stands out. Enough of us standing here looking like we're in a boy band. We came here to drive that thing. Absolutely, you know, I can't hit those high notes, but I'm waiting to die. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, Kyle, ready to go? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Uh, Stig, uh, we're just driving on a country road. This, this is what I wear to commute every day. <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> no, that's better. You sure? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Okay, Kyle, first time in the K5 GT. We've got it in uh, Sport Plus, traction control off. Okay. And we've got 290 horsepower. At your pleasure, sir, away you go. All right, here we go. All right. That is a, that is a sharp shift. <laughs> no, it's a, it really bites in there. You know, you get a little bit of that front wheel drive wheel spin, but once you hook up, you're, you're going. Okay, this time we're gonna do it. We're gonna put it in sport. So traction control is okay. gonna help you get the power down. Okay. Okay, let's do it again. Sport mode, full auto, let's go. Oh. Okay. The computers are smart in this one. Yeah. That, that's a, that was a nice launch, actually. So it stops the wheel and gets the power down. Yeah. Maybe not as quick, or maybe it is. I mean, yeah, that's hard to tell from the seat of the pants, but both were pretty... Uh, Pretty fun. Definitely the Sport Plus was a little more violent, a little more drama, but... A little one, more noise. Yeah, this one's fun for uh, the getaway car, for sure. 
since I was a young boy, sitting on my dad's lap, we would uh, sit down on the weekends and whenever we had time, we would be able to catch motoring. Um, I just remember just being so excited to see the new cars that were coming out. It was a Corolla or a, a sports car or Corvette, anything. It was just, it was a good bonding time that we got to spend time learning about cars, um, seeing all the characters on the show, just having fun, listening to like the, the different tips from the garage. It was, it was a great time. Unfortunately, my, my dad passed away in 2017 from, from cancer. I know definitely he, he would love to be able to share this moment with me now since we've been watching since I was so young and he introduced me to the show. But I know he's proud and, and, and he would just be really happy for me right now. And, and it's great just to be able to see the people from the TV. You know, now, now, I, now I can talk to them in person. So it's great. So it's great to meet you. He's amazing. He's I knew from the moment that we decided to start dating that he was going to be around for a long time. He really cares a lot about his family and it really shows. And I've known from even before we were dating that he was going to be a great dad. And he is. I'm just looking around here so then you can take this as well. Okay. Just, you can, What's you can that for? It. You know, I, I, I figured I this is the only way the car can, you can get it with a stick. Oh my gosh. Uh, so right now we are currently driving two cars. First car that we have is a Civic Si. It is a manual car, so it's a lot of fun. The other car that we have is a 2017 Sport Hybrid MDX. With our other extended family, with the three rows, then we're able to travel with other people other than just the four of us. The radio? It's got tubes. It's like the tube, yeah. <laughs> Neat, right? That is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, just little little touches like that. There's a little more detail in this than your kind of your average car. And I've always liked Kia interiors. I felt like they kind of dressed them up a little more. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I don't see driving as a vehicle just taking me from A to B. I see it as part of the experience as well. Love the panoramic sunroof. Oh, yeah. But I like the ride, yeah. Feels very comfortable and it's a nice size too. Yeah, it's a good size. We got to sit in the back seat for a bit too. And you, how, how was it for you in the back seat? The back seat is good. People who are, you know, taller, yeah. they'd be able to fit comfortably in there as well. It, it was just a great day. The car itself looks great. I didn't know what to expect on the interior and I was really pleasantly surprised with all the finishes and the infotainment and everything. But man, for a 2.5 liter four cylinder with a turbo, that thing can move. I heard it was 311 pound feet of torque and you can feel it. It shifts quick and it's really responsive. Well, the show is about cars and the people who drive them, and I hope that you enjoyed the format of having real Canadians test driving cars, and it certainly has been a lot of fun getting to know the K5 GT, and it proves yet again that Kia knows how to hit one out of the ballpark. Well, we're all done for today, and I don't get the final word. That goes to our guest reviewers. So we'll see you next time for more stories about cars. For more stories about cars and the people who drive them. And people who drive them. Like us. Like us. Like us. Like us.